Hi lovelies. I am crying, obviously. I just want to talk to my people. I just need to talk to you guys. I just want to share something that I'm going through right now. And I know that so much of you guys go through. The thing that I beat myself up about is I know I have something that like a lot of the guy you guys that watch my videos don't have. And then it makes me feel even worse for feeling sad or upset or hopeless. <laughs> and that that I have amazing friends. I truly have the best friends that anybody could ever ask for. Like, I truly do not know where these human beings come from. They are selfless. They would do anything for me. They are kind and caring and genuine and truly care about me. They take the time to get to know what's going on with me, not just even saying, oh, hey guys, like I have fibro and they go and look up what fibro is. Like my friends want to know what fibro is like for me and what I go through and what else I'm dealing with. I have two amazing parents that are there for me for whatever it is. And then I have a community on the internet a family and I just feel like I don't deserve these people and I know with my codependency this is the last thing I should be doing but I don't want to share it with any of them like a lot of times like people will tell you like that's what friends are for like to share your burdens with I'm so heavily burdened every single day and it's not gonna go away like there's no cure, like nothing is gonna, gonna fix it, like a talk's not gonna fix it. Like, honestly, like I always tell people like the biggest thing you can say to me is like, I'm in your thoughts or I'm in your prayers because like that's all there is right now. I feel sad for almost lying to my friends. I feel sad and scared if they were to find out that uh, I'm doing a lot worse than they thought I was. I eventually feel sad for when I'm gonna lose them. And I wholeheartedly do think that I deserve to lose them. My parents are going to Florida. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you guys know that we spent part of the year in Florida and part of the year here. But my health has been so poor that I haven't gone since my grandma died. And like not wanting to deal with that whole situation. Oh God, life just sucks like, I know that everybody has their burdens, like someone that's completely freaking healthy can watch one of my videos and still relate to it, but like, I try to explain to people, it's like, we have all those burdens too. Like, I get sick, I get a cold, I get sad, I get my heart broken, I get all of those things, but on top of that, every single day, I'm in pain, I'm in agony. Then every life event that just normally happens as a human makes my condition worse. I feel like I can't even mourn properly because I'm so afraid of how hard I'm gonna flare and how much pain I'm gonna be in. And why is this happening and why am I feeling dizzy and like it's just, oh gosh. And then I start self-doubting. There's been a lot of like allegations for people that seemingly look healthy on the outside um, faking their illness, especially for those that try to be active or be social, I mean. Like, if someone's like, I think what you're going through is fake, right? Like, kind of, I think we all fear someone saying that to us, and I know a lot of my friends that would really upset them. For me, that would not upset me because I am my own worst cr critic. For every person or time that someone's like, hmm, this doesn't make sense. She looks healthy, but how can she be in so much pain or not have slept for three days and be out and be positive? In, in my head, I am beating myself up. Like, maybe this isn't real. Maybe the doctors got it wrong. I was diagnosed a long time ago. Like, I go regular checkups with my doctors, but maybe they're confused or maybe I'm misleading them in some way. But anything that's chronic and stuff, like I think that like there is doubt that whether it's from within or without or 
whatever your spiritual beliefs are, um, I think, especially with me being codependent and being so reliant and thinking about what others think of me so much, it is something that I constantly doubt and I do it with everything. I just feel so stupid. Like, why would I doubt myself? Like, why would I doubt my doctors? So for me, other people saying something, like if someone were to be like, oh, well, whatever you have, for me, fibro is fake or you're faking it or you're using it as a crutch or as an excuse or you want attention, I would just be like, well, this is a great opportunity for me to educate someone because I wouldn't want it to happen to somebody else. I don't really like look at it as like, oh, this person is potentially hurting me. I think about it as like, how can I help them not say something stupid to somebody else and hurt them, which is a huge part of my YouTube channel and everything. I don't think that people looking in realize how much mental distress goes into this. I always tell my friends, like, I would take physical pain over mental pain anytime. It's generally my worst days are like when my pain is really bad and I'm feeling really hopeless and my spirits are really low. Or I've had to just cancel hanging out with my friends. I've made my parents feel worried about me or whatever it is, you know? I always want to like tell everyone that comments on my page, every single one of you, like of course I want to give a big hug to because I know that you were here to write this message and I'm so proud of you and I know that you're so much braver and so much stronger than you ever thought you could be because you're still here. I get that. You are on this earth and that is so hard. That is a fight all by itself just to stay on this earth and just to endure, just to just like status quo this, let alone like try to get better, try different treatments, get poked and prodded and push yourself and be sick over and over and over again or you guys that haven't been diagnosed with anything. The struggle of just not knowing what's going on with your body. People questioning you and marriage is breaking up over it and losing all of your friends. I really get it. Every message that you guys write to me that says like I get it like it means just as much to me when I read your guys' messages they really mean a lot to me. I ramble and chit chat in them but I connect with people. I guess when I ramble I must be really my truest self or more genuine. I just love having a community of people that are so positive in the face of such unbelievable negative things going on around us, within us, in here, in our bodies. And there are people that are watching videos and sitting down and taking maybe a whole spoon, maybe two spoons, to sit down and watch a video and write a message to me. That blows my mind. I get that that is something that we have to think about. We have to think about like, okay, should I message this person? I just think as a community, people that are chronically ill and deal with mental illness and all of these things that I got going on are just incredibly brave, strong people. And it sucks that you feel like the weakest person. I wish I could speak these words to myself, but like, I, and I do, I do, like on my better days, no, I don't. But on my better days, I do like to think of myself as like a very positive person that does keep it together, has a happy life and a happy family and friends and a really blessed life. I have, oh my gosh, just, an extremely blessed life. I mean, whoa. And I do, for the most part, keep it together or something like that. I don't know. But there are just times that just are just too hard. They're just too hard for anybody. They make you feel so alone, but I don't want pity. I don't want, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to like, sit and have a counseling session like I want to hear about my friends lives like they're living such interesting lives know what's going on in their lives and what's going on outside of this room that I'm stuck in for sometimes like weeks at a time I don't know if that's the right thing or wrong thing 
to be doing for my friendships. And sometimes it just takes me to a really dark, lonely, sad place. And I just try my very best and that's all I can really do. But I don't know. Those are just all the things I'm feeling right now. So... <sighs> It's one of them nights. It's one of them nights. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I love getting your messages. And I love seeing you guys that have been watching my videos. You cre little creepers that have been watching my videos for like a long time and just haven't commented. <laughs> I love those. And then of course my homies my friends, my support system on here. I love hearing from you guys every time I see your names. I get excited. But yeah, like if you would just share something that maybe you're struggling with right now, because I just named about a hundred, so <laughs> maybe we can talk to one another or I can talk to you or, or just give you a hug. Sometimes that's all you need. You can have a little vent session in my comment. Heart. I love long messages that are like paragraphs to paragraphs. So <laughs> I love you guys and I hope you're having a pain free, stress free day. And as always, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!